iconic sci-fi noir, Blade Runner is one of my favourite films ever. The lore that Ridley Scott created, the soundtrack, the world, the legacy, oh, perfect. But did you know that in 1997 a point and click game for the PC was released based on the 1982 movie? If you remember it, leave me a wee comment below. Time to get into it gang, it's time for film versus game. How similar is the film's plot to the games? In the film, a Blade Runner, Rick Deckard, who's tasked with hunting down replicants of which are based illegally on Earth. Hence, hunting down the whole replicants thing. The film was set in 2019, which was well futuristic back in 1982. Although we don't have hipster replicants and we don't have flying cars. The film ends with us questioning whether Deckard is a replicant or a human, which is kind of answered in Blade Runner 2049, but that's a whole other video. The game's plot runs parallel with the films, and although it's not quite linked, they sometimes cross over. The game is actually set a little bit after the events of the films, and you are a Blade Runner, again, tasked with hunting down replicants. But you're actually framed for murder and then get to explore the seedy underworld of futuristic LA. The game has many different endings with three major themes. One, you're a replicant. Two, you're human. Or three, it's kind of left ambiguous and you leave the city. However, the way the game starts feels very similar to the films with that pounding title sequence and that similar feeling and atmosphere. Both Blade Runners in the game and the film are tasked with hunting down replicants. You have to find clues, you have to interview people and you use the Void Kampf. So there are some crossovers, although they're not technically the same, it feels very similar. So I'm giving this one three out of five Roy's. The game has its own main characters and you play Ray McCoy, who looks strangely similar to Rick Deckard. The original cast do make a wee appearance, so you end up seeing Rachel, Leon, Hannibal Chu, Dr. Eldon Terrell and J.F. Sebastian. So it feels like you're still immersed within a Blade Runner world despite the differences in plot. The visual style is also very similar. If you look at the Blade Runners, they're styled almost the same. The replicants feel like they look the same as well. And the entire game has a very sci-fi noir feel, which is very much in keeping with the film. The cutscenes are brilliant and compelling and it really feels like you're part of this Blade Runner world. And for the time, the graphics were actually really good, which makes this game feel really special. So let's give this a character similarity rating of 3 out of 5 Roy's. So the soundtrack has become as synonymous with the film itself. Composed by Vangelis in 1983, it was even nominated for a BAFTA and a Golden Globe. Therefore, it would be madness to change this for the game, but they just couldn't secure the rights for the original score. So they used in-house composer Frank Klepacki. He created new music based on Vangelis' score and even recorded some of the original tracks from scratch. Since they didn't have access to the original score, they had to rewrite everything by ear and I think they did a fantastic job. So I'm going to give this 4 out of 5 Roy's. The film is a slow burn to the end where it crescendos into one of the most iconic face-offs in sci-fi history between Rick Deckard and replicant Roy Batty. It's a tense scene where Deckard almost dies but is ultimately saved by Batty, who eventually gives his famous Tears in Rain monologue before dying himself. Deckard then leaves with replicant Rachel and the ending is left ambiguous. Is Deckard a replicant himself? So, the game. Being point and click, the game is fairly easy to get through, although getting the exact ending you want isn't as easy because there are 13 possible endings. I never actually got the ending I wanted, which was the ambiguous ending. The first time I played it, I discovered I was a replicant before facing off with other replicants. So let's give this one 3 out of 5 
Roy's. So Blade Runner undoubtedly is one of the best sci-fi films of our time and the game had a lot to live up to. The fact that the game's characters and plot were unique helped it to create its own wee space and the developers added to the world of the film giving it a little bit more depth in the game. They really did it justice and you feel like you're truly immersed in this world without it being another boring copy, just another game developed from a film. It's really, really good. So let's give this one a similarity rating of 3 out of 5 Roy's. So do you love Blade Runner and did you know there was a game? Leave a comment below, hit that subscribe button and I will see you next time.